Hey, well, happy with the win. Uh, proud of our guys. And, you know, walked in the locker room uh, at the end of the game and, uh, and we're one word on the board and that's finish. And that's, that's what you got to do. And, uh, we almost didn't finish, but we did finish. And I think that's the most important thing. Uh, obviously, as a coach, there's a lot of things that we can learn from uh, in this win, uh, especially in the last two and a half minutes. But give Marshall credit. Uh, I knew there was a team that said in the timeout, don't look at the score, finish the game. And, uh, you know, they came back and, you know, once one three goes down, we know how basketball gets uh, momentum changed. And we got to be able to go to the line and make free throws, and we didn't. Uh, but we did make the ones we needed to, and uh, we did a great job executing with two seconds to go. The play we drew up in the huddle, and uh, Marcus made a big shot. But really happy for our team, and, uh, and obviously happy for our fans. It was a, good, it was a great win for our program. Donnie, that was a set play for, for Marcus to run to the corner. He set a back screen and run to the corner? Yes, it was a screen and screener play that we don't run. We just drew it up in the huddle. Uh, Keith come off. Marcus set the screen for him. We were hoping it would switch so we could throw the ball to Keith. Mm -hmm. uh, but they showed, and then obviously Tristan set a great screen, which gave separation for Marcus. Uh, to get his feet under him uh, to make a big shot. Isaiah just keeps getting big rebounds, offensive rebounds. I believe he had four more tonight at five against this. I mean, just talk about his progression and just really becoming a huge rebounder for you. Absolutely. You know, we put on the board, this is one of the best rebounding teams in the country. Uh, they've only been out rebounded, I think, three times. Tonight was four. So uh, that was the number one thing. I wrote it three times on the board, the three most important keys. The game was rebounding, rebounding, and rebounding. And uh, so Isaiah Sykes took that up on his. Uh, to a challenge, and uh, you know, had 10 rebounds tonight. And then we put 50-50 balls, and that, that means when there's loose balls or balls up on the rim, who gets them? And Tristan Spurlock must have had two or three of them for dunks that were big plays in the game. Isaiah Sykes had a couple, so we made the hustle plays. And when you're playing a competitive atmosphere in a rivalry game like this, uh, those are the things you have to win. And uh, I was really proud of how we played, especially in the second half. Is there any adjustments coming out of the second half? You really nailed him in that first couple punches, jumped it up to a 14-point lead. Anything adjustments-wise or? Yes, several adjustments. I think number one is, you know, we started the game playing the way we wanted to. Keep scored the first 11 points. Uh, it was hot, and we didn't get him enough touches. Uh, I thought we got two quick, one pass shot, two passes shot. The guys were forcing it, trying to do too much. So uh, we slowed down, calmed down, come out in the second half. We executed. Uh, we were able to uh, get some good shots. And uh, I thought we played together much better as a team. And I thought we took high percentage shots in the second half. And we play good defense, uh, which was the key. Any other questions? A little bit of a tangent, but Memphis accepted a bit of the beast today. What do you feel about the Tigers playing with you in your new conference coming up? Oh, I think it's great. I mean, I'm happy for Josh and Memphis. And, uh, obviously, I think that's a, that's a great addition to the Big East. You know, have a great basketball school so with that. That only brings more value to our to our conference uh, when that happens, but uh, I think that's good for our rivalry here, you know, with SMU and Houston, and now them coming in with us. I think that is uh, is a great addition uh, to the East. Can you talk a little bit about the challenge of going on the road and playing Southern Miss on Saturday? Well, we're going to enjoy this one. Uh, it definitely is a challenge, but uh, but if you want to be able to, you know, compete for the upper echelon of this league, uh, you got to be able to uh, get yourself ready to go in and play against the best team. Uh, right now, they're playing the best basketball of anyone, and. Uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us. Uh, we'll have a chance to, you know, to learn from this last game a little bit, and then we'll start focusing on them tomorrow. But uh, it'll be a great opportunity for us to go on the road. A tough challenge, but, uh, but we're looking forward to the opportunity. Thanks, Thank you.